really like this couch a lot. I like the new trend with the rounded edges a lot. I like this color a lot, like the golden-ish color. I love it. Let's take a look inside. I have not watched it. I have not looked inside this magazine. Oh, it's beautiful. It's velvet. And it's $15.99. I mean, is it the same one? Yeah. I mean, okay, it's a lot of money, but it's not even... I would have expected it to be more expensive, so that's kind of okay. And this is also very in right now, this rib velvet. I love it so much. I love it so much. And it goes very well with this kind of sober, um, non, non glistening table. It's nice to have that combination of this shiny fabric and then this more sober table. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Let's see. So we have several trends. The cozy, comfort, chic, the fresh, natural harmony, and the cool, retro, glamour. Let's see what we like the most. This is the 70s. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see that this trend is influenced by the 70s and I really like it. I like these chairs. I like the color. Oh. The table is actually exactly the same as the table I have right now, except that my these are... Um, steel on my table, the type that doesn't uh, rust. And I don't have marble here, I have white here. And since I moved to a smaller house, I'm looking for a smaller table. But I really like this color for uh, chairs, for the dinner table. the rib golden velvet. I think my new couch will be something like this because <coughs> I really like it and my curtains are very dark gray and this looks so good with very dark gray. So it's the trend is cozy comfort chic. I like that. <gasps> yeah this is beautiful but this is too for my house. I moved to a smaller house and I could never put this in my house. It's impossible. But wait, let me show you something. I have something here. Asked for, for something. See, I asked for this fabric from another store. And it's almost, yeah, it's different, but it looks a little bit like this. I think this is very pretty too. It also has the golden, the golden vibe and the golden, and it, it's also velvety. I really love that. It's so pretty. And I want to have cats. I want to get one or two cats and they may scratch the couch and you would never see that with these lines in the couch. So this looks cat proof to me. Yeah, very nice. But I really like this style a lot. I love it. The color, the form of the, the shape of the, of the couch. And again, these more sober tables, which are a good contrast.
obsessed with the shiny couch. You cannot have everything shiny. You need some something to complement it. And this is complementing the couch. And this one as well. And here it is again. Oh. Yes, I think that is too expensive for a little side table. 299 euros. That is like 300 euros. I'm not paying that. I'm not doing that. It's, I think that is too expensive. Oh, if you have one piece, it's 749. I think that's normal, a normal price. But I still think it's a lot of money for just this. But okay. but it's a little different okay so this is not 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 what I'm looking for I would never buy a couch this light because you will see everything on it and I don't know it's just not my taste and this is not my taste either I'm sorry if I'm very much talking about my taste in this video but that's because I'm looking for a couch and for a new table, etc. because everything is too big for my house right now. I do like this pillow. I mean, there's nothing cozy about this house. I think it's all too... I don't know, there's, there's no character there to me. I do like the floor. I do like the floor. It's like a smoked oak. And my favorite floor is um, whitewash, oak, uh, whitewash, smoked oak. That's my favorite. Yeah. It has been for years now, so I think I will never, never get tired of that kind of floor. Some chairs. A girl relaxing. No, this is not my taste either, this couch.
I think it's oak. Okay. Oh, this trend is fresh, natural harmony. You see the round shapes? It's very trendy now. There's 
a little more contrast here. This color, for instance, goes very well with green. Um, this could be, this also could be copper. If this were a copper face or something, it would go very well with the couch as well. Because those colors are very suitable. I actually like this pink as well. The pink, this color and the green, I think they are very... And the black. It's a very good combination and very unique as well. I like it a lot. I have to make a mental note of it because I've never... I've never seen this before. This and the pink and the black and the green. I, I have to... Yeah, let me put a little thing here so I can... If you see me making weird movements on the paper, I just want to make a sound. You see, it's grey on grey. Grey on grey on grey. Okay, you could say it's ton sur ton, ton sur ton, so color on color. But I really think it's just, yeah, too cold. I do like the fact that I did, that they put this rug here. Rug. There's a little bit of gold in here, so that gives it a little bit of warmth, but not enough for my taste. What do you guys think? Same story. Very, um, flat, sober kind of floor. And then the grey, and then the grey again. And then the white, it's also dull to me. And this trend is cool, retro, glamour. I think this is my, yeah, oh, I love it. Oh, there's the pink again. How interesting. I love this couch. It's too big for my house, but I really like it. Sometimes you can just buy it without the middle part. So you just have this part. This part isn't here. And then this, and then you have a very small couch. But that, that would be better for my house. Because it's so tiny. Yeah, I really like these chairs. But I, if I would buy a couch, in this color, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have my chairs in the same color because no, I don't like that. You have to have something else here. I think that's just my opinion, of course. So this dish is two hundred and nineteen euros and it's only 46, 46 centimeters. I mean, that is so expensive. I would never buy that. It's way too expensive for my taste. I like to find the same thing, but then in a cheaper store, very often you have the beautiful stuff for cheaper. In a different store, I, I discovered in uh, a certain store in the Netherlands that they have that. So my stuff is not that expensive, but still, still nice. So here again, the grey on the grey, on the white. Kind of boring to me. I'm so curious what you guys think. Please, please let me know. I do like the floor, kind of. Yeah, I'm not gonna stay, I'm not gonna keep repeating myself, but this is again grey on grey on white, yeah. I find it very dull. I don't want to be negative, I'm, I'm so sorry if I sound negative, that's not what I want. It's just something that I notice in this magazine. Pillows. That's an interesting one. I like this. I've never seen that before in a pillow. That is super cute. I mean the long hairs and around it like a ball. Like a ball. Okay, I would never buy a couch in light pink. And again, there's no contrast. There's the floor in beige, then there's the grey carpet, the light... Um, 
pink light pillows and a light table the only contrast is the lamp and the cabinet but yeah it's too blah 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 for me this looks very retro retro couch but it's not my taste completely I do like this lamp it's very I think this is also very 70s I really like this lamp that style of lamp I, my fridge and my freezer are off because they make too much sound but I'm scared that stuff is going bad now in the fridge because it has been off for maybe an hour or so so I have to hurry a little bit Interesting, so the rug has the same color identity as the couch, only lighter. But I still don't really think this is interesting to combine, to combine this together. It's a little dull again. They do have more contrast here, which is nice with the dark face and a dark pillow. Oh, beautiful crystal. Amethyst. Oh, that is a gorgeous crystal. I like this black glass in lamps. I want a black... I want these lamps um, for above my dinner table. And I want two of them or three and then hang them in different heights. That looks so nice, I think. And I really like that smoked gray glass. I love it. It's really something I've loved for some time now. I need a lot, of, a lot of new things because my furniture is quite old. Yeah, and it's too big for this house, so that's also a reason. Again, gray, gray, gray. It's 
not ex it's not very super expensive i mean i really like this one all right let's see oh let me say something about these um relax chairs i would love to have a relaxed chair sit so comfortably she had one like this a little bit like this one but they're so ugly <laughs> i think this one looks the best of all of them but I, they're just ugly i think and if i had a big house it would be not so bad because you would just not focus on it but since i have a small living room you would totally see this but this one isn't too bad. They're already better than what they used to be. They used to be even uglier. But once you sit in them, you will you never want to get up. Oh, this one is this one is nice looking. Oh, this is really but they're so expensive. 1900 euros, guys. That is so expensive, but I like the little food thing, but you don't have to think that flips out, I think, and you do have that here. This comes, this comes up, and then you sit here with your leg, and that feels so good. You never want to get up. I remember that from the chair of my grandmother. I, I never wanted to get out of the chair. Hang it on the wall. 
climbing. I like these glass things. I like how they did these colors. Very beautiful. It's getting way longer than I want it. This one I like, this one I like, this one, this one. Oh, this is very nice stepping sound. Please don't look at my sweater. <laughs> I just, I just have this cozy sweater, fleece sweater on and I didn't want to change my clothes for the video because it feels so nice and warm.